Let's play Tibia. I'm here at Ormond West, um, getting about 2.5 to 3 kk experience an hour. And we're wearing the same stuff we were at Benuda. Over there, you can see it to the left. I'll highlight it on the map here in a second. That huge yellow area is basically where we're hunting. And it's not that hard to find, but it can be confusing uh, on your way out if you've never been here before, because it took me forever. I think I had to have Mike come rescue me, Godric. Thanks for that. Anyway, um, I'm about to summon my Pokemon here, and you'll get to see um, how you... Oh, there it is. So I've got my Pokemon, and what I'm doing is making a safe bubble here. I'm going to load up some of the creatures so you can see what all we're hunting here and um, what you can loot. But what you can see I'm doing is we get a group of monsters, and I try to stay close to my Grove Beast. If there's too many creatures, I'm going to start moving a little south because we just cleared that, so it should be open. Stuff does spawn pretty fast, so if you move too far south with your group, you'll run into more stuff that'll be fully respawned, and then you won't want to go north much either. So um, you want to be able to kill the group you have fast enough to keep moving north at a slow pace. And if your Grove Beast is overwhelmed, then kind of stay down by him right but you can go north continually to pull stuff back to it so just try not to overwhelm yourself basically you know move slow enough that you can uh kill stuff and keep dragging new creatures like maybe not everything's dead but i'm still starting to move north slowly by slowly here and there we have a group of creatures so i know that i'm going to stay at the group beast or a little south of him because i don't want to pull anything else if i don't want to pull anything i'm going to drop behind him which i'm assuming if you're going to hunt here you already know how to kite but I would put this at the uh, hardest of the three that I've been at since I've been back of Werewolves, Banuda, then here. Um, XP's good. The spot's usually taken. The loot's pretty good. Be sure to loot all the um, all the creature products if you can. The cores give off some good creature products. Some of some of these um, Grove Beasts give off uh, Gluth Axes and um, that stuff can sell fairly decent to NPCs. So I wouldn't say you're going to profit depending on level, but you will make some of your money back. I like the loot better than Benuda. Mm. So, I was reading on the history of Solera and Winterra, and I came across an interesting uh, article. So, the game world Winterra was created from the merge of Julera, Solera, and Xanterra, and it was created on March 18th, 2018. And if we go to the Winterra forums, we find um, the Armageddon, let's see when they start, 2014, and they've been around ever since then. So like right when I quit, they were made, and they've been made this whole time. That is wild. And this threat's by, thread is by Muga, and I guess this, this story is kind of cool. So it says, oh no, this is by uh, Druid Joy of Armageddon. He says, let me give you the war story of how this legendary team was born. Status Pro killed Day in the Anchorman Choking Fears. Status Pro at the time was level 110. Day was 400 plus. Jao Soka, which I remember that name, cried to take down the Tibia cast. Wanted us to play just like the rest of the worthless power abusing leaders. Now Tibia cast was awesome. So we continue. So we decided to take on the fight as a group of guys that had no no idea or team to fight a server of robots because they all cheated. Armageddon was all hands. It was a tough fight for a long time. It says, we took in the trash warriors just to help with our numbers, but in the long run, putting people on the team that had no reason to be there never worked. That's very true. We found the Zanera boys and went to Denera to prove ourselves as warriors and convince them to take a chance over here. Little did we know it would blow up to be one of the best and strongest teams ever in Tibia. That's the short version. Bless Alex Eric, Tim, Hernan, Coat, and the boys. Too many to name, but I remember you all. Thanks for keeping the team alive. They are the true warriors of the Geddon, and thank you for the greatest times. Truly a blast. I hope I can make this a return this winter to have some fun. So that is pretty awesome. It looks like um, the server has been won by them for a long time, or they've just been fighting for a long time and keeping the server safe. That's awesome to hear. Somebody should update the Tibia Wiki because Winterra doesn't have 
anything other than this game world was created created from the merge and it's been on battle eye um, solera has a little more on this page which is where i'm from um, but it's not great it mentions in 2010 that we killed morgoroth and again in 2010 and then we didn't see him until <laughs> god knows when there was a war in it says there's a war in 2009 where the yelled sabat planned to turn against their allies Temo Singwendi. I remember that. I was around for that, I think. And then, which led to a union between the Brazilian players after a long period of times with them. The war is still going. No one knows who will be the winner. Now, that I think is not true. I think Brick Squad, Axion, and United, we all come in around there. Um, says, oh, August 30th, 2010, a team of Americans and Canadians. Maybe that's us. The Rubaron transfers in the Guild Prophecy. I remember that that name prophecy joined together and sneak sabat and the sub to sneaked sabat a br must have wrote this and officially joined the war the guild sabats fearless invaders and new dawn fought in a war system in which new dawn beat sabat score of 563 447 second war system ended with a score of 6853 sabat yet again losing the war still going to this day yeah i think we came in right after that and then i quit Right around that time, I think we beat whoever we were. Do we beat Nameless or Axion, whoever it was? I don't know. I feel like we beat him. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Fuck it. <clears throat> so, a little bit on the lore. That was pretty interesting. I can say the um, the updates. I'm not a fan. Um, I think what we should do is focus on these old cities. And I haven't talked to you guys about this or, or much in Discord to anybody. But I feel like it's expanded to the point, but nobody really goes to the old cities anymore. Like I used to be in Port Hope hunting um, pirates forever. And we would sell the uh, the parts off. Oh, sounds worse than, than it is. But And then I would hunt those um, cultists for the pirate voodoo dolls. They were famous. You can make a lot of money off that. Nobody's in those cities. It's empty. I feel like the new updates, because our player base isn't growing much, that the new updates should focus like, say, a... Uh, that island attached to Carlin. Fibula gets like crazy hard, taken over by Fromberus' uncles. And Fromberus and his uncles are in there, and they got tons of new demon looking things. Maybe like purple. No, I don't know. Glowing demons that you gotta pay for to get in. Anyway, I think they should draw people to the old cities and redo them maybe one at a time to make um, a certain group of people always there. And, um,. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe make almost like how Rootguard is a separate area. Maybe the whole Tibia we're in now is a separate area and there'll be a new area that's that's like a new land altogether for just 300 plus, 500 plus. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. But I don't like what they've been doing. And there's way too many outfits. Like I hunted for everything in my outfit, the Barbarian here, and it took me forever. Like I painfully remember looting this stuff as like a way too high of a level to be in that area <clears throat> and um i mean that's that's how you had to get barbarian back then you didn't really buy it too much i mean some people did i guess if you're really rich but not like now you can just like literally to be a coin an outfit that trumps most of the stuff that you have to work off like work for so that i don't like that the the pay to play and the updates um I don't know how we could get new players with these graphics. I haven't quite thought about that too much because the, the graphics are what most people play for, but I prefer what I play this game for is the death penalty. That's my core reason because in like Call of Duty and other games, if you die, it doesn't matter. In Tibia, like it's unheard of for a game like you lose part of your skills and stuff when you die. And in a game where the higher level you are, the faster speed you go, and it just, it, it's wild. that I really like that death penalty. And you can negate it pretty far with blessings, of course, but the fact that like you want to keep your character alive makes you more attached to it than if it just dies and respawns somewhere. Like if Tibia took away the death penalty altogether, I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't play as much. So, the how um, Tibia, how long they stay up. Because I played a game a long time ago called Guns, the Duel, and... Um, it was kind of like Tibia. There wasn't a bunch of players, but it was really fun. And um, eventually, so many hackers like messed it up that it went down. 
and IJJA bought it, the website, IJJI.com bought it. And then hackers again came and like ruined the game, so they took it down forever. And I had like the equivalent of a Tibia OT server of that game on my old computer. And I had actually like participated in owning one of these private servers um, of that game. And um, I made my own maps and stuff. Like I was a developer for it, like for my own, of course. So it wasn't like fantastic, but I still had people play there and it was really cool. But that computer, like the motherboard ended up getting fried and I never ended up replacing it. So <clears throat> somewhere I have those files. But I wonder like if um, Tibia just decides, I guess Kipsoft decides if they're gonna take it down if um, the only way we'll be able to play is these crappy OT servers. Cause that would really suck. Um, so I don't know how any of that goes, but I had thought about that because when I seen like 10,000 players, when I came back, I was like, wow, that's not that much. I wonder how much the average player spends. I mean, if you count in what most of those players have premium, that's a fair amount of money, but still, how long are they going to keep this up? They've made it a lot of pay to play, maybe to try and compensate for less players. But what that's going to do is stress the existing player base out further. And Tebby has never really had a large number of like annual gains on the player base. I think it's only decreased. So I'm, I'm not sure if they're doing any marketing at all for they're just overtaxing the existing player base um, with all this pay to play stuff. Or if maybe that's what they're trying to do to recruit these new generation because the new generation is like familiar with the pay to play. It's either that they're trying to do that to recruit to recruit new players or if that's what businesses are doing and that's why Tibia is doing it regardless of what it, regardless of what it does to their player base so I don't know which way it is but I don't like the pay to play myself I don't know if that's because I'm from the older generation where it's like yeah I understand premium but the outfits and all this extra stuff like why I'm, the stuff for houses why you're making that premium I have no idea and just like completely ruining the whole currency of the game just so that you can use the Tibia coin I'm not sure about that either so I guess with that we're gonna wrap up I got a level here oh here in about a second there it is fuck yeah all right drop me a grats in the comment for my level please I live for like five likes on this video so if I can get that I'll be happy I'll make another and then maybe if I get 10 maybe I'll make two more so one like that's all I want because this this um, quarantine can't go on forever I'm gonna have to go back to work all right see you guys